We're back in the shop today to talk about bikes. And today the bikes we're going to talk about are clunkers. If you don't know what a clunker is, uh, you kind of should. Because you see them everywhere. They're mountain bikes. Uh, mountain bikes are hugely popular. In 2020, 12 million were sold in the United States alone. So you've seen clunkers everywhere. Before mountain bikes existed, uh, they're essentially were no mountain bikes <laughs> so what people had to do if they wanted to get creative was take a bike like this a cruiser a lot of times they used a Schwinn heavy-duty cruiser uh, we'll get more into that here in a minute uh, but they take a cruiser bike like this and they modify it they put like knobby tires on it they put moto bars on it and they do some things to make it a little sturdy and then they take it out on some rough trails gravel roads and at that point, downhill mountain biking and the mountain biking craze was started. Um, clunkers are super fun to ride around. Um, I have built a couple of them. Uh, this is going to be another one that I'm going to show you how to take a regular cruiser. I got this for 40 bucks on Craigslist. Um, we're going to put a lot of parts on it. Um, but it's a fun bike to ride around town. They're a great single speed bike to commute. Uh, to just ride around um, If you're a BMX guy, they hop curbs and you can jump them and stuff like that um, So we're gonna do the build um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build my version of a clunker not a, a Historical representation of a clunker, but first uh, I want to show you guys how this bike performs uh, It's a, everybody has probably ridden a cruiser before or at least knows of these kind of bikes down at beaches. And so uh, we're going to go to the bike park. I got a friend named Zach. He's going to uh, demo this bike for us and show us the capabilities of this bike before and after. So let's go to the bike park, check out, see what Zach thinks of this bike. And uh, then we'll come back here and I'll tell you more about clunkers. Here we are, we're at Ruby Hill. Uh, this is a great little uh, bike park. There's tons of obstacles, ramps. Uh, this is a cool pump track. My buddy Zach here, uh, he's a really good uh, bicyclist in all forms. He does a lot of downhill stuff. Uh, he graciously offered to be our demo rider. And what are your impressions of the bike on this track in its state as it is? Uh, it's a little sketchy for sure. Uh, the bars are built for comfort not speed so it's a little sketchy going around the corners for sure but uh surprisingly not that bad right on. that's good to hear so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this cruiser into a clunker and i will explain more of that later but uh today we're at the track just getting some initial impressions of the bike from zach he's going to ride it when it's done and see how much we can improve a silly frame that isn't meant to do this kind of riding. This bike is made to put your surfboard on, ride to the beach, 
throw your you know your rollerblades over your shoulder meet up head down to the pier get some fish tacos uh, but we're gonna turn into a bike that's gonna be an awesome daily driver and a fun bike to just ride all around we're back from the bike park uh, it was pretty cool of Zach to demo that bike and give us his impressions of it I, I'm really excited to see what happens when he rides it with the new parts on it um, so let's talk about clunkers how do you make a clunker so the guys back in the day in Marin County Gary Fisher and a bunch of other guys I don't really know all their names I know there's a great documentary uh, about the whole scene in Marin County um, these guys would take Schwinn bicycles or other bicycles uh, that were just kind of everyday cruiser bicycles and they would put heavy duty wheels on them with knobby tires moto bars and they would run coaster break and there was this this awesome race called the repack and they called it the repack because it was when you got done with the race you had to repack your hub because your coaster break had burned all the grease out of it and these guys just loved bicycling and they wanted to figure out a way how to get out on the trails on their bikes have fun push the limits of what bikes were capable of and so they just started shredding uh, on cruisers with coaster brakes and it's it's kind of crazy to think about but it's actually a really fun way to ride a bike like once you get past the the coaster brake uh the threat of <laughs> of the coaster brake it they're not bad and they're fun to ride around town and so what we did we got a 40 dollar murray cruiser this thing would be perfect to ride the, the tires are pretty shot like if i was going to ride this bike to to school or work or something like that or the beach or whatever um, I would get new tires for it at least but this bike is perfectly fine um, but what we're gonna do is strip it down and we're gonna put a set of heavy-duty wheels on it we're gonna put different crank on it different flywheel or chain wheel seat it's gonna look like a completely different bike and it's gonna completely change the sort of uh, how you can ride this bike so um, Today we're going to get to the teardown because I can only do 15 minute videos right now. Uh, like and subscribe and, uh, and that, that we'll be able to do longer videos. Um, but, but right now I'm going to get this bike set up on um, a stand that I got. It's not a bike stand but it, it works as one. Um, and we're going we're gonna to start just tearing this bike apart. I'm going to tear it all the way down to the frame and forks and uh, get the crank out of it. We might change the headset. Um, I don't know yet, but right now, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing stripped down and uh, get it to a point where we can just start slapping some fun parts on it. So let's let's get to it. got her all taken apart uh, I haven't taken the forks apart yet because I might still use this headset I don't know quite yet I'm probably gonna get a new one based off of the how the bearings in the crank look in here I'll show you a close-up of that yeah that is dirt and dust and I pulled a spider web <laughs> out of there you know spider nest uh, so yeah here's all the parts we peeled off of it the seat the wheels the fenders the chain I do a little trick with when I'm breaking a chain uh, to make it easier I will um, leave uh, this little nub in the one side let me try to focus on that there it is. yeah I leave the little nub in there so that when you go to put this back together you can just press that back in with your chain breaker and that seems to work real good for me um, if you pop that little little nubbin out of there all the way it can be a real pain to get it back started but now I can either add this to another uh, link to make a you know chain longer or I can just reconnect this one um, that one needs a soak the bearings oh my gosh 
look at these crank bearings. I can't believe I had Zach riding and jumping and it was even as smooth as it was. These things are, I don't think they've had grease in them since this bike was put together. Um, so I think I'm the first person seeing these bearings from the factory. I'm going to soak them in some gas and uh, the balls don't look too bad. Um, but you know, never hurts to have a trash set of bearings laying around that are cleaned up, but they're really sticky and they are not bearings anymore. <laughs> they're just balls. Uh, yeah. And so there's the, the crank. Um, and I might put that chain guard back on. I don't know. My, the new chain wheel I'm getting is, uh, might be too big. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's all the parts and pieces to it. Well, we got it done. We, uh, we got the disassembly taken apart. Um, I took the crank out. I'm probably going to replace that headset. Uh, the stem end came out a lot easier than I thought it would. Just had to put a little uh, liquid wrench in there and let it sit. And it eventually came out. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm just waiting for parts right now. And also, I can only upload videos like for 15 minutes at a time. So hopefully uh, more people can like and subscribe. And that will help me make longer videos and give more production value to, to these videos. And... I can just express more of what I'm trying to trying to show you guys, but uh, until the next time, uh, we're gonna get some parts. Uh, I got some cool parts ordered. I'm excited to put this thing together. I think this is gonna be a really, really cool um, clunker build, and uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.